Hello, welcome to another video by Jonathan Carmona. That's me, or Jonathan R. Carmona, as I'm putting on my books, J.R. Carmona. This is going to be just a little introduction into the science fiction fantasy book series that I'm writing. I tried to do some live streams to put this stuff out, <clears throat> more or less as a test, but I just proved to myself after trying three times that the internet here is just not strong enough to do to do live streams, so <clears throat> I won't be doing that. Father, oh, poured a cup of water and left it in the kitchen. Brilliant. Anyways, yeah, so just wanted to do a little introductory video, so this won't be that long, but um, you'll see some pictures here. Yeah, right here. Um, the top one is just the flag for the Intergalactic Empire, which is a uh, main driving force organization. Group? It's huge. It's thick nation, but many galaxies. In the books, and that's, that's their flag. That's what it looks like. And then we have just a little um, picture here of the military structure, how the different organizations are broken up, and pictures of the two main characters. Daniel, he's the one with the dark brown hair, and then <clears throat> Andrew is the blonde haired kid. These two boys are going to be the main characters. And yes, these are modeled directly after actors. This is what I want my characters to look like. I will be attempting to doing some drawings, especially for the cover of the first book. Drawings of these characters. And if I can't... Well, I'd also like to see if we can't, especially once I get a publisher, if we can't just get um, royalties by the rights just from these actors to see if they'll let us use you know, a few of the pictures in the books. That would be excellent. But we'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, main thing is writing a story. A series of stories. Books. Novels, by definition. Uh, mainly science fiction, but there will be some fantasy elements. And in many cases, um, certain books will kind of heavily feature one genre, such as the very first book, is kind of dystopian in its setup. Um, they're, they are going to be designed for kids, young adults. Um, the key age range would be 12 to 17, but obviously anybody can enjoy them. Um, it'll focus mostly on, the first book will focus on a group of boys and how they escape from a prison system. But the next few books will dive into the science fiction realm. I like to think of it as my love letter to Star Trek because I really love Star Trek. I love the whole idea of exploring space. So the next three books, books two through four, will be largely space travel. And then book five, um, I'm planning right now to do is, it'll be set in a world that's it's fantastic world. So. The key world of the, of the book series, which is Xerath, besides Earth. The first book takes place on Earth. Future, alternate universe, Earth. Um, but yeah, so that's just you know a little bit of the ideas of what's going on in my head. I've always wanted to write a story, series, story. Well, yeah, it is. It is one story. That's true. It is one story. But I've always wanted to write books, plural, books, because obviously one story is a bit too big for for just one book. It would it would be a ridiculous huge book if I tried to put it in one book and I don't think anybody would publish it. Let alone even if I had the money, that would just be dumb to, you know, get books like this, this is just a dictionary, are, are humongous. Let's see, how many pages is in, you know, something that size? Um, this has, these are not numbered? Oh dear, this is an older style book, so maybe they just didn't bother number. They did not. That's weird. Alright, fine. Oh, we'll go to my history book. So, we got this massive tome. How many pages is in this? Nine, almost a thousand pages. 999 is the last labeled page in here. It, most people at least for the first book, don't want to buy something that big. And it's going to take way more than that to tell my story. So, again, just being practical, definitely going to do a book series. Now, the first book will be you know, of a decent size, um, probably 
above average because it's already at let me pull up my chart here it is come on where are you book notes there you are 235,000 words so it's a good sized book I have broken up into 25 chapters but it's definitely doable it's close to some of the other first time uh, first books of a series so I'm not not scared of that at all besides it seems to flow really well the beta readers I have reading telling me they like they like what they're reading one of them he loved it he sped right through it he's already in book three beta reading for me um um is there anything else I need to say so writing a book series in my head, I'd like to do 17 books. I'd like to at least do 17 books. It's very possible I'll do more. Uh, right now, I have up to book eight. Like already, I have a story right there. Uh, I, I've written three of them as of right now. This is September 2020. And I've got a good way into, I think, chapter 14 of book four written out right now. Again, it's all here. Just got to you know, find time to write. <clears throat> I'm also working on editing, as such as right now. Again, September 2020, I'm doing a... Oh, I don't know what number it is. Third or fourth full edit. I think it's third of book number two. So I'm reading through it, you know, fixing any spelling errors, fine tuning the grammar, and definitely polishing up the story. Adding in details that are needed is happening most, though I do find occasionally sentences I'm like, all right, that's not needed. Change it around. Yeah, just doing editing like a good writer's supposed to. So that's what I'm doing right now. And do have my book out in the query in the query process to I want to say seven or ten different people right now are looking at it, or it's you know it's in their inbox to look at. Though I have several hundred more that I can query, and I probably will be doing later this month, next month, uh, sending out more query letters because I need a traditional publisher so I can get my book published. If and unless God blesses me with lots of money. I need a traditional book publisher to get my book out there. Otherwise, it's not going to get out. Even even the extremely cheap route of self-publishing on Amazon, you need money to get the book out there. At the very least, like if I, if I had a vehicle, which I don't own a vehicle right now, but if I had a vehicle, it would still require money, gas money, to travel to schools and libraries to do book signings, you know, book events. And I could only do that, you know, locally, you know, within what, an hour, a couple hours. Again, that would require gas money. So the best route right now for me is a traditional publisher. Because if I find a book agent who's like, I like this book, let's do it. They take care of everything. They publish the book. They have a huge, you know, footprint. They can get it out there, no problem. And of course, I will be right there to say, hey, I'm willing to go anywhere, do anything as far as, you know, advertising the book. I speak generally, of course. I will not do anything to get my book out. I will just do, you know, what's needed, like go to libraries. They can fly me or, or, or whatever, you know, get me out to places so I can help get the book marketed, um, you know, make videos and put those out, whatever. But yeah, so that's the plan, traditional publishing. Uh, obviously, the other options, self-publishing, I've already mentioned, and there's a hybrid publishing option, but that requires money. So, that's why I'm doing traditional publishing as the option right now. I'm um, going pretty good. Let's see, how are we doing? Do we have a time? I can't see how long this, this recording is. So, anyways, um, I think I'm done. I think I said what I need to say. Just Again, just getting an introductory out there of the books that I'm writing. Hello, those of you in the future, because of course, all videos like this are watched in the future. You're looking here into the past. <laughs> what would be crazy is, however far in the future you all are, it could be interesting looking back and saying, hmm, there he is back in 2020, just playing this out. Having next to no money, let's see. Oh, look, I've got two dollars to rub together that's what I've got got nothing else but I have my books I have my computer I've got this and I have access to the internet so more than enough 
for any author to get some writing done. So that's what I'm doing. And I am, by the way, enjoying writing. I love writing. I think it's a lot of fun creating these characters, living in their world, figuring out their character qualities, the, the things that they go through. It's a lot of fun. And I am creating a multiverse, really, and it's bigger than that because I have in my mind many dimensions, different realms. Um, my story is set with the assumption that all that exists is created by a great almighty being. We know him as a God of the Bible. I'm a Christian, got my Bible right here. So, you know, that theology is um, a big part of what grounds my thinking. So, of course, why not use that in books? And it just, it's honestly, it's too easy. <laughs> I like to say I don't have enough faith to be an atheist. Besides, I'm a practical, scientific, logical thinker. And I've seen more than enough evidence. I've got documents of it here in these good books that God of the Bible is real. Maybe Christians don't do it exactly right, but by and large, the Christian denominations, a good number of them, they're closer to, to the truth than anyone else. You know, the Buddhists might have some stuff right. The Muslims might have some stuff right. Yada, yada. But at the end of the day, Bible believers seem to have, sorry, something in my eye. Bible believers seem to have it closest to the truth. They seem to be doing it right. Some of them anyways. But all that to say, <clears throat> that's my mindset. I'm creating a fictional world in an alternate universe, but it does have an earth and human characters and all that. And they're starting to go out into space. It's set in the year 2040 or 2044. I'm forgetting at the moment. So it's just a little bit in the future is where the first book starts off. <clears throat> And creating an entire history for these other planets and these other characters and like I said it's a lot of fun I am enjoying it I look forward to this book getting out into the public and seeing others enjoy it my beta readers already have been really enjoying it <clears throat> and just for the record since uh, we're looking at this oh, that's the wrong chart other chart oh, did I close it why am I so stupid all right give me a second I closed off my chart because I'm dumb to open it up again. Here we go. There we go. Does that show up on? It does. If you're seeing a little something show up on the screen here, that's because I have a um. That's because I have. Where is the thing? This thing. No. This thing. Yeah, I got this thing going on. But anyways, that doesn't need to be there. Um. Rainfar, what was I going to show you guys, or tell you guys? Characters, galaxies, there's something here. I opened this up to show you something. Writer's note, that's what it was. <laughs> okay, so right now, as of September of 2020, I have, let's see, one, two, three, Four, five. Okay, I definitely have five beta readers who are actively reading the book. That number could raise up to seven, maybe eight. If these others are reading it, when I've talked to them, they, they want to, they're trying to, but they're slow going. And then, and then a total of uh, 20, is it 25? Oh, wrong number. A total of like 20 people that I have given the book to to read. Um, I had a couple that have pulled out saying they're just too busy. They can't get to it too specifically. But the rest, they probably going to read it. Bottom line is I do have other people who are giving me some input right now. Um, I have a Facebook page, which that's something I should bring up in this. I should do that. Yeah. Let's see. How do I do that? First. Um, okay. Got to do this and then this and then this yeah I have a Facebook page dedicated to this book series so right now this kind of works as the book web page so you can go here to keep up um, just with what I'm looking at that influences me in writing the books because um, I look at other sources you know I definitely want to you know make this 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 book series the best I can so this here, so let me pull this, put 
this forward so you all can see. There we go. So this is just uh, what the Facebook page looks like for my books right now. I've got some birthday wishes. Um, but yeah, I got stuff like this on here that lets you know these, these are videos that I have watched. So I'm looking at and considering ideas and things like this uh, to help me with writing. So I'm trying to get as much input as I can from the outside, though I ha already have uh, lots of good info running around in my head. Um, definitely uh, not afraid to look into other sources, other writers. <clears throat> There's three writers that I keep, like I watch their videos and sometimes they do lectures, which is awesome, on YouTube. And again, I usually post that stuff on, on this Facebook page there. And then there's a couple of book agents, I want to say three to four of them that I've watched their videos regularly to know about you know, the publishing process. They're the ones who taught me the difference between traditional and hybrid publishing and how that all works and given, and given some pointers. But... um. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I feel very confident in putting this book out. Like right now, book one is ready to go out. That's why I'm doing the query process. And hopefully sometime this year, maybe I'll have a um, book agent. If not this year, next year. Uh, and it's very possible the book could go to publisher. Um, summer, fall of next year, if, if I get an agent here soon. But honestly, that's all in God's hands. You know, He'll guide and direct there how he wants to get this out there. But yeah. Um, you can go to the Facebook page for the book. No, it's under my name. I don't know if you saw that. It's under my name. Because I tried to put Lord Vonder series. It, Facebook was being finicky. It wouldn't let me do that. It, so I had to, I just, all right, fine. Just use my name. I guess I could alter it to say Lord Vondor. Maybe that would, I don't know. I don't know. I, I initially tried to do that, and it wouldn't let me. It would be a bit frustrating. But you can go there. There's a handful of pictures. Um, of course, character pictures and then stuff that I've drawn, stuff I've put together, charts. Just to give you a little idea of what's going on with the book series. Occasionally, I'll put um, notes about the books, so where I'm at, so you can get the insight there. Of course, here in the future, those of you watching, more than likely there will be a book website. At this time, it doesn't exist, but there definitely will be in the future. That's just the way these things are more than likely the book publisher will help me set that up. All right, I think that is all I want to share for right now. So thanks for watching and go have an excellent day. Peace.